If you've been watching me for a little while on my channel, then you know that every few months or so, I typically do a closet clean out video. I love doing these quarterly. It just helps me keep my closet like nice and fresh. So what I'll do every few months is go into my closet, go through every single item, assess what fits me and what doesn't anymore, what brings me joy and what doesn't anymore, and what I just no longer love. Then I end up giving those items new life by either listing them for resale or donating them. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, if you saw my last closet clean out video and maybe the one before that and maybe even the one before that. I haven't done anything with those clothes really. Um, they're pretty much all just sitting in these bags, washed and sanitized and ready to go, but just sitting there. Um, and it's just been a busy time of year, I will defend myself and say that, but we're doing it today. So I'm going to show you the process of a closet sale, how it works, go through each of the items with you, and then also give you an opportunity to shop my closet and buy some of these items. And if you've been watching me for any length of time, then you will know that the platform that I list my clothing on is Poshmark. They are also the sponsor of this video, which is very exciting. Poshmark is the leading marketplace to buy and sell fashion. You can shop over 9,000 different brands in all sizes. I typically shop for brands like American Eagle, J. Crew, Madewell for up to 70% off retail price. If you're into luxury brands, they also have those available and they even offer complimentary authentication for purchases of $500 or more. Poshmark is what I have used for so many years now because it is the easiest way to sell items from your closet cleanouts, which I do very frequently as we know. I know a lot of you who are watching this video have also purchased items from my closet sales in the past. So if you do happen to purchase an item from this video, definitely tag me on Instagram. My Instagram's always linked down below. It always makes my day when I see photos of you all in the items that you've bought from my closet. It makes me so, so happy. Since it is the holiday season, I also think it's an amazing option to get your holiday outfit from Poshmark. I have done that in recent videos, as you all have seen. You can also get an opportunity to make extra cash during the holidays if you wanna sell some of the items that are in your closet. You can even purchase things like holiday gifts on Poshmark for people. So overall, I love them, as you all know. And as a sneak peek of a few extra things that I'm gonna be dropping. I'm obviously gonna get more into it in the video, but we have these American Eagle mom jeans that are like the go-to classic jeans that I wore for years and years. They're so cute, super distressed. I have loved these for so long. I also have this pair of Old Navy jeans. I recently tried these on when I was in the fitting room at Old Navy and they're super cute, but they just don't fit me perfectly. Then we have a few girlfriend collective pieces. Some of them are new with tags. We have this unitard in this navy color. It's so so fun, so cute. Then we have these really bright, fun colors, this lemon color and this kind of like peachy creamsicle orange color. These are their high rise compressive leggings. These are my favorite leggings ever. This pair of Abercrombie faux leather high-waisted pants that are still brand new with tags. I have never gotten a chance to wear them. I have the same ones in brown, so I'm going to give the black ones a new home. So there's a lot more to cover as the video goes on, but I just wanted to show you a few of the things that you are gonna be seeing on my closet. Sale. You can download Poshmark in the US, Canada, Australia, and India using the link in my description box below and shop my closet or your favorite brands. So we've got our work cut out for us here. Um, there's definitely a lot to go through. I'm gonna physically show you everything and go through the whole process from start to finish. So let's do it. <sighs> this is extremely overdue. <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> It's happening. So, you know what? We're gonna start with the smaller bag because we're just gonna take it baby steps, just baby steps. So the first thing I will typically do when I'm getting ready to do a closet sale is just assess everything that I have, do like one final pass through. And honestly, it's really helpful to do this because sometimes in the moment you're like, no, I wouldn't wear that. And then you see it again and you're like, wait. I need one more moment with you, you know? So what I'm gonna do is separate the things that I'm going to just be donating to my local thrift store or women's shelter or wherever I decide to donate it and then the items that I'm going to be reselling. So real quick, let me separate all of this stuff and then we'll like go through the actual Poshmark pile, if that makes sense.
right, so I got my piles here, which luckily you can't see that much of because um, it's scary. So I'm going to show you like obviously what I'm going to be listing, my thought process behind some of it, and then I'll show you at the end of this how I list everything. So starting off, I did recently purchase this from Poshmark, so I'm going to be reposhing it. It just didn't fit me. A lot of times, you know, you're just rolling the dice to see if something fits you or not. So this is actually in a 0x, but it's a bit too small for me. It's from Forever 21. I guess I'll go through like the dresses, skirts, bottoms, pile first. So then we have this little skirt, which I've really only worn like once or twice, and it's so cute. It's originally from Shein, the one purchase that I made from them. It's in a 1x, but it kind of fits anyone from like an XL to a double XL to a 0x. I do think Shein runs a little bit small, but how freaking cute is this? I just don't ever get opportunities to wear it, and I feel like I'm going to say that about a lot of these items. The next one is a dress that's literally never been worn, tag still on it. It's just sat on my clothing rack back there. It's from Nasty Gal. It's in a UK size 18, so a US size 14, and I don't know if you saw my video where I hauled a bunch of home decor that I thrifted, but I can't wear cowl neck things. It just doesn't sit right on my body, so it's a no from me. But for someone who can wear cowl neck things, like how cute is that little dress? So that's gonna go. A lot of things that you're gonna be seeing in this video are definitely like when I went through my super colorful Y2K phase earlier this year. And I still love all things Y2K. I still love the nostalgia, but I think I'm just veering in a different direction right now with my style. I also think that when spring comes back around, I will probably more than likely gravitate back towards color. But for now, I'm gonna let some of these things go. This little skirt is very cute, but it's a little bit too small for me now. And it's just so silky and flowy, kind of like a tea party in the garden type of thing. And I can't remember where this was originally from. It doesn't have a tag. It would, I probably would say fit like a size large, but I loved, loved, loved wearing this. This next one is, um, um, something that was in a recent thrift fails video. Oftentimes I will like gather all of my thrift fails and then <laughs> try all of them on for you and show you why, you know, I messed up at the thrift store. And this is one of them. I ordered it. I washed it. It's just too short for me. And I just, I've tried to think of every option, maybe adding some fabric below it. I think that would ruin the dress. Wearing bike shorts underneath it, but I don't really want my bike shorts to show. So someone who is shorter than me needs to have this. And honestly, that's a common problem with me anyways because I'm tall. It's a reformation dress. It's so pretty. I spent a lot of money on it. I will give you a very good discount. So someone please take her and make new memories with her and just give her the love and respect that she deserves, you know? It, I couldn't be that for her. I'm her toxic ex. Next, another unworn <laughs> tag still on it item from nasty gal this is like a cinderella-esque slip dress i really wanted to wear like a band tee underneath this and wear some doc martens with it but i just never got around to wearing it and it's been like two years so someone needs to have it this was a thrift find that i was really into when i first thrifted it and then after time i just realized that it's not perfectly my style and for me. So someone else needs to have it and deserves it. This is by the brand Allison Brittany Woman. It's a size 1X and it's this really cool kind of Carol Baskin-esque wrap dress. And I just think it's very classy, very cute. It would be adorable with some boots, like some knee-high boots. Going back to the Y2K thing that I was talking about earlier, these pants are from ASOS. They are a US size 14 and they are so cute. I just absolutely love these. These, but again, I, I don't have anywhere to wear these as much as I want to believe I do. I think they served their purpose for me and that I wore them for a video. They looked amazing. They captured like a feeling and a memory. I think someone else should have that opportunity. So those are going to go. Last two are these dresses. This first one is one that I think I got on thread up and it's an Abercrombie sort of like I guess pseudo cheetah print some kind of animal print dress and it has kind of thicker sleeves like the spaghetti straps and I love the buttons down the front I think this is such a beautiful dress it's like a midi length dress on me but it's just ever so slightly tighter than I would like I recently got this gingham skirt over the summer on Poshmark and it's really cute I love the length of it it's like not a midi but not a maxi but it's just a tiny tiny bit tight on me in the waist. Again, I'm prioritizing comfort, but 
so stinking cute. I absolutely love this. And I think someone else will love it as well. So that's gonna go in the pile. Now onto tops. If you are a viewer of my closet cleanouts, then you will know this tank top the second I show it. And it is this ACDC tank top. I got it about two years ago when I lived in LA at a cute little store called Spitfire Girl, I think is what it was called. It was on Melrose. It was right around the corner from where I used to live. And I wanted this to work so badly I tried to wear it in so many different ways and you just sometimes have to accept the fact that things don't work out. Sometimes things don't make you feel your most confident or your most comfortable and it's okay to let those things go. I thrifted this top recently in my, I think it was called like thrift power hour challenge video and it is this Harley Davidson tube top. I've gotten a lot of DMs about this. People being like, I want this so badly. It's a size extra large, but the bust is just a little bit big for me and I don't really feel Feel like taking it in or paying someone to take it in and I feel like someone else who's gonna truly love and appreciate this should have it. On the back it says Lakeshore Harley Davidson Libertyville Illinois. There you go. So if that's you, come and get it. I'm gonna list this for literally like $3. I think a lot of these items, like the lower priced items, I am gonna list for like $3, which is essentially a giveaway. So make sure you check out my Poshmark down below. Get those items for very, very cheap. Next up, we have a mesh top, which I really love, but again, won't get a chance to wear that much. This is from the BP brand from Nordstrom. Yes, and it's in a size 1X. It's this really cool, very, very soft, by the way. Way. pink and yellow mesh top and I wore just like a little white bandeau underneath this with some jeans it looked adorable but I've just my style has changed a little bit and I've outgrown it and I think someone else will really love it sweater vest took me by the throat this year and dragged me all up and down and all around I have fallen in love with them and I have so many that I'm never gonna wear them all so I got this one like I don't know a year or so ago I can't remember and it's a houndstooth pattern which is amazing and cute but I have one already on my clothing rack that's pretty similar it's black and white it's got like the same vibe so I don't really need two of the exact same sweater vest but how cute is this I love it a couple of tops that if you have been around on this channel you know all about and these are two button-up tops that I thrifted and wore each individually once never got to wear them again and honestly haven't appreciated them the way someone else will so the first one is this really cute floral shoulder pad top I love it I love wearing a button-up shirt like this kind of like tied up at the bottom here I think it's so cute but it sat there and I never wore it and someone else should and then of course had to throw in the LaCroix on t-shirt we know I love a LaCroix on moment but I really just don't feel that confident in this it's weird I did at first and now I don't anymore it's very bizarre but time changes style changes it happens I love this pattern so many of you sent in so many amazing like flavor suggestions as to what this LaCroix can would be. It's so glorious and so magnificent, but I'm never gonna wear it, so you need to. This is another banger that I used to wear heavy in rotation in 2018 and 2019. This is by Wild Fable. It's a size extra large. It is the cutest clueless vibes pink fuzzy mock neck sweater. It's cropped. I love it. It's just a little bit tight on me now. We have this stunning, beautiful, amazing velour slash velvet tube top that's like kind of cinched on the sides here. I wore this in my outfits that my younger self would lose her mind over video. I love this and I've loved wearing it, but I don't see myself wearing this style as much. So Y2K, so fun. I think it could be adapted to a bunch of different styles, but it's just not my favorite anymore. I almost didn't include this, but I feel like someone will appreciate it. And that is this shirt. These like scrunchy t-shirts used to come in a little thing like this and then you would take it out and the t-shirt basically stretches to like any size. I think this is such a fun, funky shirt and I love pieces like this, but it's just not perfect for me and my body type and I don't want to hold on to any more things in my closet that I'm like maybe about. I kind of just want to have things that I love and that I go to. Okay, and then quickly for shoes and accessories, here we go. So we have this number, which I do think that I picked up for for a Y2K video or something like that. And I don't think I ever ended up using it. How cute is this though? It's like a perfect blend of like retro, Y2K, everything in between. And then I have a similar one. I think I showed this in a video where I shopped a bunch of plus size vintage shops. This is from Shein, it's not vintage. Um, vintage, 
it's kind of confusing because a lot of retailers will consider themselves vintage even though the stuff that they have isn't vintage it's just another name for like a resale shop but it's not vintage but either way this one will be on there cute little like green and tan number I love that then we have some shoes and I got a few of these shoes like over the last couple of years and either they don't fit or I just never grabbed for them so the first pair being this pair of jelly shoes which is so nostalgic it actually hurts these are originally from forever 21 i think i thrifted them for a monochrome outfits video and they're so cute they give me such intense flashbacks to elementary school playground days and it's just such a fun throwback but again never get to wear them this pair i think i thrifted these are from urban outfitters they're a size nine they're like a very cute sort of tie around the ankle style heel and they're a very low heel which I do appreciate but again it's like I never get opportunities to wear heels anymore they don't make me the most comfortable this saddens me deeply as a Tennessee girl someone who spent over half of my life in Nashville um, even though honestly Get, like the cowboy boots thing is not popular there that's just tourists it's more popular in Arizona it's like more cowboy vibes out here but anyways these I got secondhand for a Taylor Swift video that I did like all of her different eras and they didn't fit I mean I wore them for the video it took me about 20 minutes to get them on because they were too small so I need someone else to have these and love and appreciate them I have since replaced them with a different pair this pair of red flats I did again get for the monochrome outfits video I got these all secondhand I have more of a wide foot so this sort of like strap situation just never works out that well for me these are by the brand bamboo they're a size nine so if someone enjoy these they're so freaking cute I have two more pairs of sandals and these are both originally from Target and I wore both of these a little but they just don't get worn enough by me so someone else needs to enjoy them the first is this black pair this sort of like braided platform fake leather sandal they're very cute but again the strap just is a little bit tight around my foot so I want something that's a bit more comfortable and then the last pair of shoes is this one from Universal Thread again sort of like a tie around the ankle espadrille style shoe and it's just a flat so just a sandal they're brown they match everything I wanted to wear these so much over the summer and then like I just wore my pillow slides every day you know so now that that's out of the way and I've shown you everything that I'm gonna be listing this is just gonna be like the first drop of a few by the way it's just too intimidating to do it all at once so I think this is a good amount to start with I think everyone's gonna hopefully love these items so now what I'm gonna do is basically go one by one and list each of these on Poshmark and sort of show you how I do that because I've gotten a few questions of people who are curious and selling their own items and kind of want to know how I do it so let's do it all right so here's what we're gonna do I basically have my chair right here next to me that has all of the items that I want to sell on it I'm gonna take the items one by one put them on a little hanger or however I feel like they look best so some people lay things flat on the ground some people hang things it totally depends on the item and what you have and what you're selling and you basically just you know try to make it look as decent as possible and then I have like a little nail here on the wall I'm not gonna lie and I just hang a hanger on the nail and there we go this is probably a bad example because I'm not gonna put this on a hanger but let's do like a shirt so here we go first little pink top gonna hang it right here and I just like to do as simple of a background as possible that's why I chose this wall and then I just go into the Poshmark app on my phone I go to sell I take a photo you're doing amazing sweetie and then you just take a bunch of different photos at as many angles as you want. So I'll do like the front, the back, and then maybe like a close up. And then if there's like a tag, I'll do the size so that people can see. I'll show a screen recording so you can see what I'm doing. So the first thing you do is go into details where it says, what are you selling? And so I'll basically say Y2K throwback crinkly shirt. And then in the category, I will pick women and I will do tops. And then the size, I'll, I think I'll just do one size because it doesn't actually have a tag. There's no brand. Then you select the color, which is pink. You have the options to add if something is new with tags or style tags. The original price I got it for was like $25. I'm gonna sell it for about three. <laughs> I'm basically just trying to give it a new home and I'm not really gonna make profit off of it, but I just want someone to have it. So then I'm gonna go to availability and I'm gonna schedule my drop. I'm gonna schedule it for the day that this video is going up at 10 a.m. 
So it'll drop at the time that the video goes live. And then you just hit next. Oh, I realized I forgot to include a description. So I said throwback crinkly shirt, 90s slash Y2K style, super stretchy and fun, just not my style anymore. So there we go. So you hit next and then you just hit list and that's it. Okay, I think I have it all done. I'm pretty sure I got everything. I'm also gonna be periodically adding more things as time goes on, like throughout the month, throughout after the holidays, but I feel good, I feel accomplished, I feel like I'm a bit lighter, like I have less stuff weighing me down. And hopefully a lot of you who are seeing this video will shop these items and give these new life and new memories. So it's very exciting. I'm just so happy I did this. It always feels so, so good after this is done. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you download Poshmark in the US, Canada, Australia, and India by using the link in my description box below and Shop My Closet and your other favorite brands. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video.